Alright guys, welcome back. Got a bit more of the division for you. The division, the beta. The beta. The be uh, yes, the beta. Um, I just wanted to talk a bit more about the game. Just a few things I've sort of noticed, things I've enjoyed. Uh, and I'm going to carry on with a little bit of a mission. I, I just think one of the things that it's getting criticism for <laughs> already, which is really silly, uh, is the graphics. And I was thinking, these graphics are incredible. I mean, it's it's not like, you know, it's not uh, photographic, realistic graphics or anything. It has a feel about it. It has a certain style. But it's just that it's so detailed. I mean, you come to you come to things like this, this wall over here, and there are photos of all the missing persons. Uh, I don't know. It's just everywhere you go, everywhere you look. I'm probably not in the best place to, to show you that, but even just as simple as the, the posters on the walls, the buildings, every single nook and cranny. Um, this seems to have been sort of set at Christmas over here. Every nook and cranny's got some detail in it. Um, and it, what I was going to talk about was actually what is this all about? I mean, I haven't looked too much into the backstory here, but this kind of says it all. Um, as you've seen, the gameplay is, is set in a sort of an abandoned New York. Um, there are safe zones, there are quarantine zones, there are lots of people running around the streets killing. Um, and there are just regular people walking around the streets as well. Um, but everyone seems poor, hungry, it's it's not a nice place to be. But this kind of maybe explains a little bit about it. Um, and I'll show you something else in a second. Uh, avoid contaminated areas. Do not enter a location where a suspected case of the disease has been reported. Report any suspected cases of infection. Act responsibly. So it's basically there has been a disease. Now what I don't know yet is what it actually does to people. Um, I've just come over to this place. Now on the map this is your uh, base of operations. It's one of the first things you do do in beta and you can come, come and dis discover it basically and build it up and make it yours. Uh, so I'm just going to go inside and, and show you. Now one thing I love actually is that you can seamlessly walk from the outside world into your base of operations. Uh, there's no cutscene, there's lo no load screen, it's pretty tidy. And I really like that. And again there's a few more things on the wall here showing you all about uh, decontamination rules, procedures you have to follow, wash your hands, uh, place items inside a hazmat, hazmat bins, uh, report anything you ever see over here is how to wash your hands again. Um, when to do it before touching a patient, before initiating um, a cleansing or an, or an aseptic procedure, after risk of exposure to body fluids, after touching the patient, after touching the area surrounding the patient. So it seems to me this thing can be spread quite easily, probably by any kind of body fluid, by touch definitely. Um, but it also suggests whatever this disease is, it is not airborne. Um, otherwise it would not be safe outside. There are contaminated zones and you need a mask, but perhaps only in those zones is air anything that's uh, airborne or perhaps there's more than one type of disease. Who knows? We're going to find out when we get more uh, storyline from the main game. Um, but I just wanted to show you this as well. As you come into your main uh, base, this is uh, there are several wings. You have a medical wing, a tech wing and a security wing. Obviously these last two are not available in the beta, but you can upgrade um, the wings. Now... Look, note at the top there it says supplies 380 and the whole base restoration is 3%. So not only do you come here to sort of stock up, sell stuff, buy stuff, um, I don't know, chat amongst your friends. Um, you can actually upgrade this place as well. Um, now the dark zone, which I will show you in a video or two. I've, I've been there a couple of times. I've died there a couple of times and I've succeeded there a couple of times too. Um, but when you go into the dark zone, you get loot. When you extract that loot, uh, the only way to do it is via helicopter extraction. This is where you will find that loot. Um, over here on the extracted tab, I've actually taken everything out of there, which is why there's nothing nothing there right now. But that's basically where you'll find it. Uh, you've got some vendors. Here's a crafting station, of course, not available in the beta at the moment. Weapons that you can buy, you can just... Have a look at all these additional weapons. Of course, you need to be a certain level to use some of them, which is definitely worth doing. <laughs> uh, gear, and then, of course, mods for any weapons as well. Um, now, this person here is obviously significant in some, in some way, but don't know what they do. The, the beta isn't telling us at all what, what to do with them. So into the medical wing over here. Now, if you follow this, come right to here, supplies. You see supplies? It says 380, so let's just open up the laptop. 
and uh, I chose this upgrade earlier on, so it says 10% upgraded. Now what I was able to do was give myself a skill, skill being first aid, um, then I can use medkits, and uh, the medkits um, increase by one slot. Now here is another available uh, skill, or upgrade, sorry. Um, not of, none of the rest of these are available, but this one right here is. Now it gives me a whole load of other rewards, but I can't select it yet. Why not? Because it needs. I need 400 medical supplies to do so. So when I do have that, I'll be able to come back here and get additional upgrades. Now, how do you get these? Have a look on your main map. Um, once you've done some of the main missions, this one here at Ma um, Madison Field Hospital, you'll see there are these encounters lying around. Uh, encounters are either blue or green that I've seen so far, and the rewards show on the top left hand side what you will get if you succeed in this encounter. Um, in this case it's security wing supplies, some credits and some XP. So it's all worth doing definitely to get your, your level up. Um, but this one here, 60 uh, medical wing supplies. So if I go and get this I will have enough to come back and upgrade the medical wing. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to go and uh, first of all take on that encounter. But also I, um, I really want to finish off this side mission. So, um, in fact, what I'll probably do is we'll run all the way over to this one. What is that? Oh, yes. Okay, so the, uh, this encounter right here, which is also going to give me 60 medical uh, wing supplies. So once you've done that, the map will uh, be highlighted for you. And you it's going to tell you how to get there, basically. So, right, get out of here. Get outside. Can I help you? I mean, everybody's ever so polite they, they are very friendly <laughs> and here's the tech wing so as you can see on the floor as well it shows you how to get to certain wings these little colored lines will lead you to uh, your destination but our destination is back outside now, it kind of makes you walk through this particular part you can't run but I guess that's just I would rather much rather have that than a, uh, a load screen so let's go it's only uh, 0.2k, so just a couple of hundred meters. And if you noticed, oh my god, the weather has just suddenly changed. And we've got a bit of a snowstorm, uh, which is really, really cool. Ah, now this will happen occasionally. You get um, civilian will come up and they ask you for help. If you can help them, you'll get some XP. So, yep, he wants water. I'll give him some water. And what he gives me in return are uh, some items, clothing, you know, it can be anything really. I've never been given weapons, but... I don't know. I'll take the clothes. You can sell them as well. So, yeah, do what you can for your fellow man. Um, the orange line will show you like how to get to your destination. Sorry, people. Um, it's worth listening to what some of these guys have got to say. Actually, it's quite interesting. Like, let's have, let's have, just have a listen to what these people are saying. So these two are trying to make their own way across the uh, the lands here, and they're asking, oh, they're wondering if they should ask other people for help. No, one of them says, no, we're going to do this on our own. It's too dangerous. I mean, it's just nice that each one of these little pairs, conversation pairs, it tells a little story. Um, I hope I can find one I, I, I listened to earlier on, uh, which I, I will stop by and listen to a couple of them if I can in this video, just so you get an idea. Like these two, these two here, now they're talking. What have we got? Let's have a listen. You didn't deserve that. No one does. So somebody died. He wasn't gonna make it anyway. You know that. I don't care. It's all fucked up. <laughs> okay, so these two seem to be consoling themselves over the loss of somebody. Obviously they're loved. Um, now this activate echo area, I will come back to that. Because um, this is where I want to carry on that little um, side quest. But we said we would first do this. Now I've got some pretty decent weaponry now. And most of these little side quests are, are simply just to, you know, kick ass basically, which we can we can do. Um, okay, so I think we've only got one guy left. 
Now I do I do like the um, the way you can sort of run and seamlessly hide <laughs> behind something else. This guy's done a bit of a runner. Oh no! So, dude, this area is mine. Okay. So there's a key. I have to search this area for a key. Uh, hostage rescue. Okay. I guess it wasn't in there. Okay. I'm guessing we found it now. Hostage key. Yes. Cool. All right. That's complete. Where are we got to go with it? Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, the game is letting uh, leading itself anyway. But again, this is what I mean. Look at the detail here. I know this is all to do with the uh, disease, but simply the plants in the in the office. I think these are pretty well done. Uh, everywhere's destroyed. There's you know broken glass panels. Well, these ones aren't. They are now. Uh, <laughs> the artwork on the walls. It looks like it was. Looks like it's been defaced. Or is that meant to be modern art? I don't know. Uh, how do we get through here? There's a key to this door around here somewhere, please. Yeah, yeah, we got it, man. I got it. All right. The key is open. There you go. 60 wing, uh, medical wing supplies, some credits, and, of course, the XP, the all-important XP. Now, you've got to keep your eye on the map for... You see that little purple... I can't see. It's, well, that's telling you is there is a container here with something in it, something that's worth taking. And I found an adjustable mask. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to equip it straight away, you can from this from this menu. Um, but you could just, of course, loot it like I'm doing now. So I've got ten on my. On, as soon as you add something to your backpack, it, you'd notice a, a little digital display comes up, tells you how many items you've got in your backpack. Again, little little touches of detail. There really didn't need to be writing on this on this cabinet, and you know that's what I just everywhere I look there is something interesting to see. I, it's just really quite cool. You know what is just oh wow oh ho, ho, we got a little bit of a glitch. Okay, so the items on that desk, while the desk can be pushed over. The items will stay standing. Oh, that's amazing. Not if you shoot them, they don't. All right. Now, th there's obviously another room here, which usually means there's something else to find. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's just another room. I mean, you can't go into every building, at least not in the beta. I don't know if that's going to be something you can do in the main game. But everywhere you do go, there is something to sort of look at. I mean, are these genuine photographs? Are these photographs of people that the, the, the developers know? Are these, uh, you know, they look far too real. You know, you can imagine that's the wife and child of one of the guys who wrote the game, right? Beautiful. Anyway, I like the, I like the graphical quality of the game, um, and I like its art style. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Okay, so as you can see, uh, when they're friendly, there'll be a little green bar above their heads. So don't be doing anything bad to those guys. Uh, it's bad karma. Now, are these two going to have a little conversation? No, they're just being really sort of weird. If they spot you pointing a gun at them, though, they will leg it. They are they are not very... Not very stupid, these guys. They they will run away from a man pointing a gun at their head, which is, is wise. It's called self-preservation. Okay, so this is the other thing I wanted to show you about the beta, which probably hasn't been shown too much. Um, of course, you've got a lot of Dark Zone activity. But uh, for certain parts of the game, there are these little areas. An echo. Uh, now, these echoes, which is really cool. It's a bit like uh, augmented reality. Sort of reminds me a little bit of um, Watch Dogs. Uh, but if you activate this echo... It will bring up, within a particular region, something that happened. If you step outside that orange line there, you won't be able to... Uh, it'll stop and you have to start again. So something happened here, and uh, we need to investigate it. So if you 
Sometimes there's loads of different characters, but it, have a listen. Come on, come on. So she's been trying to open this door. What? What? Okay. Looks like the uh, the map marker has moved us somewhere else. I like how you can move through it though. It sort of moves itself around you. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I like that. Oh. oh, did I shoot? Oh my god, I did. No idea. That wasn't that wasn't intended. Uh, so it looks like we've got um, another marker on the map showing us the next part. Okay, where are where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So this is the new place to go. Um, Heatherlow made it into her apartment building, but the main entrance is locked and barred. Search the back alley for another way inside. So we'll map mark that, which uh, means we'll get a nice little line. I do like the way you go in and out of the map, though. Looks cool. I like a lot about this game. You probably can tell. Now, in this building here, um, there is a whole load of stuff. See all those items marked on the little mini-map there? I think it might be worth having a look for those. What do you say? Here we go. Okay, so most of the houses you sort of come across, they'll have bags in them like this. They have stuff in them, stuff you can sell. Uh, but that was a, a one soda. But this is uh, this is one of the things I wanted to show you guys. Just every room will be slightly different. And it paints a real story of of what's happened here. I mean, this is not how it started, right? This room would not have been like this unless it was home to a family of junkies, perhaps. But you are able to scavenge, and that reminds me a little of The Last of Us in a way. Um, I don't know. There's pieces, pieces of parts of games here and there, and I have don't think I've seen anything twice. You know, these the artwork on the walls or anything like that. Let's have a look. Uh, one more room. Some of the rooms are locked, um, but you can uh, acquire lock picks. You don't actually act actually actively have to um, pick the lock yourself. There we go. So we've got a, a trendy windbreaker. I'll have a look in a minute at what that uh, what that looks like. A simple down jacket. Well, I mean, you might as well take all this stuff. If you've got room in your backpack, take it. Okay, what was that? That's that's something I'm not. Not too sure on. I've seen these this icon of something before, um, and I can't actually take it. I don't know what it is, because it's a symbol of of a backpack. But I already have one. Okay. So as I said, not all doors are open and it'd be quite nice if we could just walk straight through some of these buildings if you if you want to get to a back alley for somewhere else uh, okay so you have to get into that building round the side so let's head this way Nice to see it's cleared up. I would like to see this place during the day again. But equally, it's beautiful at night. Gas mask graffiti. I mean, it's just actually really well done. Careful where you're aiming that. I'm not aiming anything. Get out of the way. Oh, here we go. We got some bad dudes. Okay. Now, these guys will attack you on sight. So don't feel bad about taking them out. But um, you see the mini-map 
Top left, triangle cone showing you the direction that uh, these guys are in. I don't apologize to no one. Yeah, they don't know I'm here yet. They're going to find out any minute now. You can, now I've got actually, yeah, this is quite cool. I've got a uh, little surprise for you guys. <laughs> that didn't take much, did it? There we go. Air is secure. Okay, so we've got another echo. Uh, let me just grab whatever he dropped first. A recruit mask. Very nice. Alright, let's have a listen. Aha. So. Looks like somebody pointing upwards to. Okay, yep. Yeah, Alright. Well, we gotta stand out here in the cold while you get first dibs. Fuck. It is cold. Just shut up and watch the alley. Okay. So at least two guys. I know there's three silhouettes here, but that could be the same person. Okay. Wait, wait, don't go. Don't go. What? Oh. I think that was him and not part of the uh <laughs> not part of the echo. Alright, so I guess we need to go up this ladder. Um Find out what happened. Although it isn't actually, mm, it's not actually telling me that. Ah, okay. It was, it was implied. That's cool. Uh, okay. I guess we can go through the window. So yeah, we had to search for this girl. First time we saw her, she was outside, sort of sitting next to a guy playing a guitar, and one of these echoes appeared, and they were like, well, good. 15, 20 people all around, so it was a much more busy echo to look through. Um, oh, look, somebody's managed to get in a little picture of their dog. <laughs> oh, I love it. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's a picture of a bicycle wheel. Why? Don't like that one. Okay. That'll be me then. So where is she? Upstairs, I see. Um, but how do I get there? And look at this place. Again, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep saying this. Real attention to detail. Somebody had to put all these objects here, yeah. Somebody has designed every room. And they deserve a lot of credit. I mean... It's stunning. Every single item is individual, yeah. And it, and it will be movable. I mean, look at that stuff. It's very cool. Feeling, I've got a feeling something's about to happen. Of course, I could be very disappointed in a minute when nothing does. But let's have a look. Let's go, go, go. Oh wow. Okay. We got a dead. Oh, okay. This is it. This is her. This is the guitar. She said she had to bust over someone's head. Can I get out of here now? For you, Agent, this means a lot to me. An awful okay. lot. I'll send a JTF patrol to bring her back, but let's just say that I owe you one. A big one. Not a problem. All right, we leveled up as well. That's pretty cool. I'll be in touch. Lao out. Excellent. Okay, so we've got a whole load of rewards there. I don't know if you saw those pop up, but a couple of items 
And, uh, wow. There's a lot of guitars in here. And, of course, a Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. All right, so what do we do now? Do we do we go? Just, just grab this item. If I can. No, it's another one of those satchel type looking things. Okay, so now I've found this lady. Um, ah, okay. Simply return. I presume return Wait with her. Go, agent. If you manage to make it back here alive, we got a little something for you. So I uh, do have someone else I can give it to if you bite it in the meantime. Okay. Be practical is all. Over. All right. I'm on my way. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that it was an escort mission, though. It means I've just got to run back there, and there is going to be somebody trying to kill me on the way back. Um, now, you can jump over these ledges, but as you see, the circle button is highlighted, but it's got a, uh, a red triangle, exclamation mark, basically danger sign. Um, so, although I can jump, it will mean I'm going to be hurt. Yeah. Actually took off an entire chunk of health. <laughs> sucks. Oh, here we go. Somebody else needs help. So give an energy bar. Go on then. Thanks. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. It's worth doing just for the XP, but also for the items you can go sell later. Okay, I don't think... Look at this. A field hospital. Madison Square Garden's turned into a field hospital. Huge. Are you losing it? Am I losing what? Someday I'll return the favor. I haven't done anything yet. What do you mean you return what favor? Is that guy dead? Oh, I swear to God. I saw this guy standing outside. Okay, somebody's been around here. Killed that guy. Wasn't me. Okay. So, because I was armed there, it just popped up a little notification saying you can't use your weapons or, or skills inside this place, but you don't need to. There's nobody in here you need to kill. Um, but. She. Ah, now you see, I was saying earlier on, I didn't know what this person. What point this person was. Well, finally, we get to talk to her. Agent, the fact that you are not grievously wounded and being eaten alive by a wild dog right now is a testament to your competency. And possibly just the whims of destiny. <laughs> Good work in any case. Is that it? What do I get? What did I get for that? You need this and you don't even know it. <laughs> what a salesman. Uh... Okay, very cool. So this is showing a very crude version of the uh, the map that we already have. You are here, right above my head. All the other locations you can go to, very cool. Okay, so as as I, as I was telling you that I needed to come back here, I've now got enough upgrade points, I believe, and as it says on the door there. Upgrades are available, so let's go see what we get. 
I didn't realize that there was a pharmacy here. Drugs! Survival guides. Oh, yes. Uh, I have found a couple of those, as you can see. Two out of six. Um, and again, they, they certainly gave me XP. I don't know when you have all six of them what use they'll, they'll be, but I am looking forward to finding out. All right. Upgrades. Awesome. So now we can upgrade this quarantine. Now that's what I call an improvement agent. You should charge more. Wow. Whole load of skills unlocked now. Awesome. And they're also just ready to equip straight away. So where is... So now I've upgraded. Is I mean, is it, has it created a quarantine? Oh, is that... Benita said there were a lot of cleaners spotted around some building project. What? So it looks like a lot of NPCs are going to give you some... Um, missions. Side missions. Everybody seems to have a little something to say. And there's plenty of areas around this building. Uh, that we've that I, I just locked for the beta and that's the police academy fine just in case did he just say go and check out the police academy rewards claim no items to redeem hey no hard feelings okay so it's clearly worth getting rewards for something Okay, so every time before you go out into the world, um, whatever, whatever weapons you have, make sure you restock everything. It will give you, uh, it will top up your entire inventory of you know, ammo and uh, health packs, med kit, sorry. Let's have a quick look at the new clothes. So, obviously you've got your weapons, but I'm going to have a look at what I could wear instead. At the moment, we're in a trendy slouchy. Could wear a pretty horrible cap. And another horrible slouchy thing. A trapper hat. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm sticking with that for now. And so many, so many tops here. I haven't really checked many of these. A windbreaker. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. Military jacket. It's even, even better. Oh no, it's one of those big puffy jackets. Just, it's just not me. Uh, trekking jacket. Well, they're all pretty nice. Oh, that actually looks quite good. Uh, chinos or jeans? Jeans. Modern jeans. What's the difference between jeans and modern jeans? A slightly different colour. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, we're going with chinos. Uh, boots. God, do you, do you really care? Uh, yeah, looking awesome. So it's nice. Yes, you can customize your look, and not, so that means that everybody is not going to look the same. Let's get out of here and go and find something else to do. If there are any more side quests, I'll hit one up. Ah, looks like a friend of mine's online. <laughs> nice. Right, well, I'm going to go join him and uh, end this video here. Probably come up with another video soon, and it might be the pair of us chatting shit and playing the game. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and uh, really, I am looking forward to the main game. It's looking awesome. Thank you so much, and please take care, and hit the like button. See you soon. Good night.